And along with, along with Mark Amadeo, I'm Tony Anceni, Ben Carroll, and Maggie Sutton, our producers on the radio and television side, respectfully, on this Saturday morning on the ISC Radio and Television Network. We're always streaming online at iowasportsconnection.com. The Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau reminds you that texting kills. Log on to iagtsb.org, the Governor's Traffic Safety Bureau, reminding you it's thumbs down on texting while driving. We come to you live from the hy V High School headquarters and the Des Moines Imports Radio Studios 24-7 at desmoinimports.com. Darren Svensson joins us here, sports director at KD. ECAM 1240 and Decora as he comes off an outstanding football season of broadcasting Decora Vikings football. But now we turn the calendar to basketball on the girls and boys side and wrestling. Darren, how are things out there in Northeast Iowa? Well, I want to clarify the season was outstanding on the football field. I, know I won't go that far with the broadcast up in Northeast Iowa, <laughs> but uh, I appreciate the uh, compliment uh, nonetheless. Uh, a little rain, a little wintry mix uh, up here. Uh, you know it's a uh, winter uh, sports season uh, when there's a uh, Threat of uh, five to eight inches of snow up in this area tonight. So. Uh, you guys can keep that mess. Yeah. Let's talk about this basketball season. I know uh, uh, some outstanding things will happen, and uh, your girls' team looks like they're off to a pretty decent start. Yeah, the uh, the core girls uh, they're off to a uh, one and two start right now. But uh, your first lot, one of your losses to was to uh, Tom Lilly's uh, very good uh, Cedar Rapids Xavier team, uh, and the other loss was to an Ooh. Edco team here in uh, Northeast Iowa, and that was the uh, Probably one of the uh, strangest girls' basketball games, and I don't mean that in any, any sort of negative way that I saw. Edco uh, has been uh, scoring a lot of uh, points uh, this year. Uh, that was the night before the uh, state championship game uh, a couple weeks ago in football. Uh, a double overtime game. Edco won that one 103 to 100. And Edco has been uh, putting up uh, 85, 93, and uh, 103 points in their first uh, three victories of the season. The uh, Decora girls got off on the uh, winning track uh, the other night, uh, winning 38-35 over uh, MFL Marmac. Uh, Bridget Storhoff, new head coach uh, at uh, Decora. She's been the, in the program for about the fa- last five years, last two years as the varsity assistant coach. She moves up to the head coaching spot. A lot of spots to fill uh, from our last year's squad, but uh, this team has uh, clicked uh, pretty cohesively uh, here early on, and uh, we'll see how things go in a tough Northeast Iowa conference that in my mind, uh, probably Waverly, uh, Shell Rock, and New Hampton are uh, the teams to beat. Of course, Waverly coming out that outstanding volleyball season. Uh, a lot of those same athletes are going to be uh, playing basketball this year. And uh, New Hampton, uh, Coach uh, Scott Hoagland, longtime boys coach. Uh, he has a state championship all the way back in 93 on the boys' side of things uh, at New Hampton. Uh, got out of coaching for a few years. Now he's uh, back doing it on the uh, – Girls side, and uh, Scott's uh, probably one of the better basketball minds uh, here in Northeast Iowa, and uh, not, it, it, none of us uh, else in the uh, Northeast Iowa Conference maybe liked the fact that uh, Scott was getting back in because he knew that program was going to get turned around and turned around quickly under him. Well, Darren, let's talk about, we only have about a couple minutes left in this segment, but talk about what games you're going to be covering this week. Uh, this week, uh, I've got a couple of uh, Decorah boys basketball games. Actually, today I'm on my way down right now to cover a uh, very good uh, early season wrestling tournament, uh, the West Delaware Wrestling uh, right. Tournament. Of course, West Delaware, uh, who wrestles Waverly Shell Rock to 32-26 uh, the other night. The opening duel of the season is going to be there. Lynn Mar, uh, their talented squad, is going to be there. Also, uh, Davenport Assumption uh, get some national attention as a wrestling team. Uh, they're going to be there today. Then Tuesday night, I'll uh, have a Northeast Iowa Conference uh, boys matchup. The Decorah boys actually opening the season Tuesday night, probably one of the latest teams in Iowa to open the season. Uh, they were scheduled to have a couple of games last week, but they pushed those back with the uh, long football season. Uh, score will be at Wacon on uh, Tuesday night, and then a uh, non-conference game at uh, Turkey Valley, uh, a team that should contend and do some nice things in the Upper Iowa Conference on uh, Thursday night. So, uh it's that time of year, uh, so all of us are getting busy, but it's the uh, good type of busy, as we all know. So, Yep, I can tell you're busy at the Unidome. Just ba- basically brushed us all off on press row. You had too many <laughs> things to do covering the Viking football team, you know. Well, well, uh, I, I will say uh, I, I was just picking on you for uh, your rankings, all these uh, ranked teams uh, that uh, the quarter got to play in the uh, quarter, second round and the quarterfinal round and everything like that. And Darren, I'm so glad you brought that up. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, I don't but, think uh, yeah, anybody. But you know, it's uh, rankings and uh, fifty cents don't even buy you a daily paper anymore. So. <laughs> Absolutely not, and I agree with you hundred percent. And you know, it's kind of ironic because we kind of kept saying it all year. I think an unranked team will win state title, and 
Well, it came to fruition because we didn't rank those teams that got to the Either state championship. Team. Either one of them. So. <laughs> well, and it was, it was kind of interesting the other night that the Coral Wrestlers opened their season at Union LaPorte City of all the places. So, uh, and that ended up being a good team. Scott Hogan has a, a very good team at Union LaPorte City you know, once again on the wrestling mat. So. All right, brother. we got to roll. We'll talk to you later, my friend. All right. Have a good one, guys. Back you with too. more after this timeout.